Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will do a nice uh, fall haul and I hope that you guys enjoy uh, watching my videos and that you will enjoy the products that I'm about to show you. Um, we're gonna see two little small boutique and then one that's actually a tax shop that I've discovered and we'll see that right after the song. So I want to present to you the first uh, the first product. So it is a product that I've been uh, putting actually that I have made a video on my channel before, um, and it is tail bags. Um, these tail bags I use them most likely in the winter. Sometimes I try it in the fall and the spring. It works fine, but in the summer with all the flies, I find that the tail bags kind of fall off, and my horse gets a little bit irritated, and that's why she doesn't wear them as much in the summer. But in the winter, when she has a blanket on and um, that um, she's like most likely going to be covered for the whole winter, I don't want her tail to get damaged and I want her to have a nice, um, like luscious and full tail in the spring. And that's why I, uh, I buy tail bags. So I just want to show you them. So that's like a good pile of them. So I just want to show you all the models that I've received. Um, so let's start with this one here. So the first one is the little popsicle sticks and they come each one of them comes like this so you have two little sides that make it easy to tie it on your horse's tail um, contrary to the one with velcro this is a little bit more durable so if I make a knot in this kind of fabric as you can see like there's a lot of stretch and it makes a, a tight kind of fairly tight knot and it really helps to keep um, the tail in there so it doesn't come out. Um, I've rarely had any issues with these tail bags. Honestly, the tail pretty much stays in it. Um, and it stays in it for about a week. I would recommend if you are planning on putting tail bags on your horse that you change it every at least once a week. But you can change it twice a week if you like. Um, so it is a little bit of a lycra type of fabric. So it's very stretchy and it's kind of like the fabric is really tight it's a bit like a bathing suit fabric if you will so it w it's still breathable like it's you know you could still it's still breathable but all of this like fabric is going to really help not um, to get the dirt to stick on the tail um, and so far i've been really really happy with it like i said i've made a video about this company um, you can find them on etsy and the name of it is sewn by joy I will put a link in the description down below so you guys can um, go check out her product. She is amazing. Um, she works really hard to make these tail bags and honestly, they, they are great. Honestly, I have nothing but compliments about them. Everybody really likes the funny patterns that she has and also the quality of the product itself. Um, the reason why I shop on her, uh, on her shop is basically because usually tail bags are not that pretty. They're actually pretty ugly. They're very simple, plain colored. So you have black, navy blue, red, green type of like hunter green type of colors. But I've never found anything that was actually cute, attractive, fun, interesting. And so I find that this little shop on Etsy really does the trick. Um, so it is not that expensive. It's about ten dollars, if I remember well, about ten dollars a tail bag. I'll put the, also the price in the description below so you can you guys can see it. It's not that expensive, honestly, for what it is, and it really lasts you a while. So I had four last year and I just, I'm just adding some new ones uh, to my collection just because I feel like um, I needed more last year. I, just, I was just starting with a tail bag and all that stuff. So I just bought a, a couple just to test it out and it worked really great. Like it took a little bit for my horse to get used to having a tail bag because it does add some little weight to the tail just because first of all you have to braid the whole tail, like wash it, braid it and then put the tail bag on top and then make a knot with it and that sometimes is a bit bothersome. So yeah, for Hazel, she was just, it took her a little bit to get used to the fact of having her tail braid, braided and uh, also having a tail bag on. But after that, she was actually like, she didn't mind it as much. So that was good. So I want to show you another cute pattern here. So for those of you that like the little baby shark, uh, these are the little shark collection, little pineapple. Once again, they're like summery, but it's kind of cute. Like you could wear it like, you can put it on any season. I just like to have something different. So same material once again. So very extensible, like it's just very stretchy. Um, and it's just, I think this one has a little shine to it. 
I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little sheen to it. This one doesn't. But the same fabric, like lycra type, really extensible, uh, uh, really stretchy. And the same little V notch. So that's a cute model. And I like to have like a pair, like to have two of them. So I have two of these guys. And another one here. So this one is really cute as well. They're like little hummingbirds. So I don't know if you guys could see it. Maybe on the side. So little hummingbirds. Really cute. So black, purple. Um, I usually like to uh, match them to my horse's blanket. So that's why I have all these kinds of color. Um, this year I went a little bit different. I just wanted to see what she had and just have fun over the winter. Honestly, it just it just sparks some joy in a barn when it's like minus 40 or minus 30 and you're freezing and you see these little cute tail bags. Honestly, it makes you smile. And that's one of the reasons why I love these guys so much. They're like amazing. Everybody like that love them, honestly. My previous barn, they literally like ordered like so much of them just because they couldn't believe how cute they were. Like unbelievably cute. So this one is the next one. So it's purple. It's, it looks like a succulent a bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? A succulent or a flower? This one is a little thinner in the fabric. Way stretchier. But it's still like lycra. It's a still a type of lycra. Really like the pattern. I think this year, I don't know. I put some purple on hazel and I really like the look of it. So I can't wait to try this one on. I will definitely like... Put some picture on my Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll probably see those guys over the winter. Um, every time I see them, like honestly, it's like a it's like a photo magnet. They're just so cute. Um, I just have to take a picture. And then my last one for those of you that are a fan of Harry Potter, so you'll have this one here. You'll recognize it. Honestly, I don't know in which books, in which book or which movie that is, but I know it's part of a map um, in the movie, the Marauders map here. So. For those of you that like Harry Potter, you'll like this little cute thingy. Um, love the tail bag. I purchased this one just because it's like it's fall and I find like that's the most fall you're gonna get. Honestly, I love Harry Potter in the fall. Some people like it as a Christmas movie. I just love it as in, as a Halloween or just as a fall to winter type of movie. So I, ha I ordered actually two of these guys. I really, really like that pattern actually. It will go well with the Anki um, stuff that I'll present to you in the next segment. Before we go into the saddle pad, I just wanted to remind you the name of the shop is Sewn by Joy and she you can find her on Etsy. It's a lovely little shop. She has other items as well if ever you're interested. She has a little um, like a boot bag. So if you have like sports boots like I do and you need like a bag or even if you have jumping boots and you need a bag to put them in, the bottom is like um, it has a little mesh kind of pattern on it and it helps to get the dirt to kind of go through the bag but not um, not the boots so like that you get all the dirt to kind of come off of it it's really easy to dry them so she makes those awesome items um, she has other items on there if you want to just check it out it's a small shop but honestly it's worth it and she's based in Alberta so if you if you want to order you can order all across Canada I think you can even order internationally I don't exactly know how it works for Etsy but I'm pretty sure it's available into the States as well you might just have to pay a different shipping but really, really love her products. And so the next, the next little uh, boutique that I'll show you is called the Polished Spur, and it is um, Instagram based. So you can only order through um, uh, Instagram. They don't have a website yet. They don't have a Facebook. I don't think they do. Maybe they do have a Facebook. But uh, you order it. I ordered it through uh, Instagram. And I will just show you here the little logo if I can zoom it. So the Polished Spur. Well, I don't know if you guys see it spur is really small but that's basically what it is and basically they make like cute little equestrian um, outfits so this is their long sleeve shirt um, and it says resting mare face on it really love it cute really cute and I tried it um, it's been through the wash once as well um, I've, I tried it on and it's literally one of the best fabric I've ever like had honestly it's lovely it has like little, I don't know if you can see it, like little micro holes. So it's very breathable. Um, and it just, you feel just so comfortable in it. It's really hard to describe. It's like 
it's like a polo shirt like kind of feeling because of the fabric but it's like much lighter it's like you're barely wearing anything which is kind of good because sometimes you do tend to sweat a lot uh, when you're riding and i love this little kind of base layer type of shirt um just to let you know this is the gold on white but you can order silver you can order rose gold i believe she has other colors um she definitely has other color shirts too so if you want to you can definitely order different colored shirts um, and she has a short short sleeve version as well um, of the of the shirt so lovely this one is in the extra small and it fits me like perfectly so really love really love this shirt so I'll probably like honestly I'll probably like order a bunch more I think you can wear it pretty much all year round um, maybe in the winter with something on obviously but um, all year round just because it feels so light you feel so refreshed it really put like pulls the sweat off your body if you will so you don't feel like wet or like you know um, uncomfortable so love 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 this shirt and then the next one is from the same shop as well so the polished the polished spur here this one is easier to read so this is a thicker like kind of a crew neck sweater type and it says here personality chestnut mare love it it's a very lovely shirt um, this one is in a size small because I believe she didn't have or it didn't come in an extra small um, it does fit me but it fits me big if you like it to be a little bit big then you would be fine with the like that kind of sizing like I'm an extra small and obviously a small makes a little bit of a difference but um, if you like it on a big size you can definitely order different uh, different sizing so I love the shirt. It was it's was really soft and really comfortable the, when I tried it. And then it went through the wash. I just want to show you. So the only con that I found with this product is the wash. So as you can see, I wore it like a couple times. But then when I put it through the wash, this thing picked up all the hair. And I'm having a really hard time like getting rid of it. Like it's all in the inside of the product. Like all of it dog hair all kind of hair like i've washed it twice just to be sure and try to remove it all but um it just catches hair so just be careful be mindful of that even in the front like i have like lint rolled it for the past 20 minutes before i filmed and i tried to remove as much as i could and it's still in there so it just really gets into the fabric so just be mindful of that um but other than that very warm shirt very lovely and um, very comfortable too like it keeps the heat inside so you're feeling really, really comfortable this one by the way does not catch hair if ever you guys are wondering so that is that for this cute little boutique so it's called the polished spur and they're based at i believe in stouffville ontario um so close to toronto so it's a very cute shop they do make custom um custom writing as well you can change and personalize the Whatever you want, the color, the shirts themselves, you can change the color of that. But lovely, lovely shop. I invite you to follow them on Instagram so you can see their, their product as soon as they come out. They do have special orders sometimes and you can see all the little personalization that they are making for other people. And it might give you some idea to, to uh, what you want to do or what you would want to write on a shirt. Really lovely. Honestly, I would still reorder from that shop. Like It was a really nice um, customer service and um the pricing was really good as well so really really nice so yeah i'm not going to give you the pricing just because it might change I, I guess it might change depending on what's on it i believe i'm not too sure but yeah so just ask for the pricing of the item that you want to order and she'll let you know but it's very very well priced so that these are the cute cute shirts so i will show you the last um uh, the last one so for those of you that I've seen it, I did, I did an unboxing of this uh, the same like salary, if you will, in a previous video in French. But I'm just going to show you the products that I got. Um, I'm not going to do an unboxing in English. I just want to present to you what products they carry and what I like about them and stuff like that. All right, so I kept some of these things for last. So um, the last few ones, I'll start with the saddle pad. So the first one is this one here. So this is the limited edition by Anki. Anki Technical uh, Casuals. So this is a nice brand. If ever you're looking for dressage stuff, 
and that is not expense too expensive and that is just as comfortable and um, good quality you you will find like a good good deal with Anki usually their saddle pad are just one color but this one came with a pattern and a sheen to it I don't know if you guys can see how shiny that is so yeah um, but usually they come like in a like a full velvet kind of fabric on top and they have this little grippy kind of pads on both sides so both sides so your saddle can kind of sit on it and honestly I've tried this one and it did not move whatsoever it stayed in place the reason why they have this is also because they don't have any of the little um, the little tabs that you would see here or in the corner here in this corner so they don't have any of that so it that's why that's the only way it's gonna keep or stay in place so you just want to maintain that just make sure it's clean before you put your saddle on uh, to make sure that it's like maximum grip the other thing is the lining inside so the lining is very like it's very cushiony but it's also very breathable so this is kind of a like a little like a breathable fabric almost the same as the shirt that I just presented um, a little softer though and it really helps to keep the sweat level to the minimum so really really like that that saddle pad um, really great the other nice feature is this right here so if your horse has high withers you will be definitely served with this honestly i thought my horse had a high wither but with this it made like it was still sticking out by about like that much about like a whole inch extra and like that it wasn't getting stuck and she had some good room for her shoulder blades and it was honestly really really good so really recommend the anki so once again anki technical casuals lovely brand love them the price is really good for them i believe they're usually around a hundred dollars um as to other saddle pads or sometime um especially the one that i like so psf sweden you can have a, a saddle pad for 150 dollars just a saddle pad and then you have to buy the polos and all that so you come up with a bill of like 300 dollars for three items so lovely brand but anki is a little bit more like a little bit better on the wallet if you will so the other one that i got here so you see it's not I've, i haven't used it yet so it comes like this to protect the little grippy side so it is the black with gold here so it's like gold little figures lovely and it does have like i don't know if you guys can see it it does have like the little micro suede it just has little gold freckles on top and once again lovely product love it so that's that and they come with uh, matching well, they do make like matching polos, if you will. So that's the the gold one. So it's gold here and then sand colored. Lovely, lovely polos. And these once again are also cheaper than usual. I don't remember what the pricing is. Oh, it says it here. So it's it's priced at forty five fifty. And usually for PS of Sweden, you would pay at least sixty, almost seventy dollars for polo wraps. So it is kind of worth it if you're looking for something that's classy, um, that stands to time. Honestly, it just you can wash this over and over again, and it's still perfect when you actually take it out. So really love these products. They're easy to maintain. Um, they're not that pricey, and they last you a while. So love it. And then for the black one, just want to show you. So that's the polo wrap. So just a classic polo wrap. You know, that's the back side of the Velcro, and then you have their logo here. And key here as well really cute oh and the thickness of the polo wrap i don't know if you guys can see the thickness here of the um the little fleece so it's a little thinner i find than the ps of sweden one or even the equestrian stockholm one so it's a little slimmer but it gives you a good contact to the leg um that way so it's not as bulky and i find that it doesn't slide either so i love it really good polos so these are the two And then one of the last items is this one here. So this is the bonnet and it is, um, what is it called? This is neoprene. So it is um, like soundproof or has a little bit of soundproofing into it, um, which helps your horse to stay focused. So really cool. And this match with both 
both um, saddle pads just because it has the same black and velvet as the black and gold and then you have the same fabric as the gold right here so you can use it on both really lovely nice collection it's well made and as you can see lovely it seems very comfortable what else so another thing is the little socks from um, Dreamer Schemers. So this is the Narwhal collection. Really cute. Instead of being unicorns all the time, this is actually the Narwhal. Love it. Little diamonds. Really cute. And these nice spurs in a gold color. Really, really hard to find. So I'm really happy with these guys. So thrilled. Um, these are from BR, the, the brand BR and they are about 20 millimeters long so it's a nice length like it's not too short not too long honestly it's not that bad um, so i can't wait to try these guys on and the last item so little bell boots by professional choice or pro choice if you will uh, love these bell boots honestly for turnout so my mare has shoes on all four and these are the only boots that like stands like time basically usually there are always all our other bell boots have failed us like literally within a week or two or even a month if ever they're really good but i've had another set of these for five years and she wears them every single day day and night even and they haven't like they didn't even break on us they're lovely really easy and this is like neoprene and it's really comfortable for the horse so it's a double velcro so you have another one here inside double velcro and they hardly break honestly they hardly break usually my other bell boots are gonna break right at the seam here either they're gonna start ripping apart here or the, they're gonna actually like just literally crack up this way but this bell boots like the only thing that happened to my other one is just the bottom part here kind of got worn out so it's time to change them after five years uh they look pretty bad but they still are still working like they are full length it's just the little real the last rim here that's just getting very damaged the top ring here too is getting a little bit damaged but the velcro is the same um and she wears them like day and night my barn um like requires to have the bell boots on like day and night if they are if they need them to go on turnout it just makes it easier for them to just turn the horse out um, with them on and everything so it just like you know limit their um, their work there um, and I don't have any problems with that with keeping them on it's just that it has to be comfortable for the horse obviously over time and that definitely is a good investment so if you like these guys these are priced at about $45 I think on Amazon too you can find them on Amazon too um, and they, they last like five years <laughs> so it's a good investment if you need that for your horse um, or if your horse has shoes on all four like mine um, it prevents overreaching when they're outside and having fun uh, with their friends so love these things and I just wanted to present to you all these last two items so the saddle pads the polo wraps the the bonnet um, the bell boots the spurs are all from this lovely boutique here. It's called Celery Eleganza. And they're located in Quebec. Um, they're located in Quebec. And um, they have two locations. One is in uh, saint Bruno, I believe. And the other one is in Jonquière. Um, lovely little shop. Let me just confirm. Yeah, Jonquière and saint Bruno. So if you guys are looking for any like a question stuff would you be western would you be english you would find some nice stuff at eleganza um it's a new discovery for me it's the first time i've seen this boutique and um, it's really really cute i love their selection of their products um, obviously they carry the full like hanky collection so hanky um, changes their saddle pad color scheme and everything twice a year so you have them in the fall and in the winter and then you have spring and summer collections and um, that boutique carries all everything like even the limited editions like these two 
um, you will find them there. So I encourage you to just check it out. If ever you are interested in looking for saddle pads or if you're looking for anything in particular, uh, you might um, you might find some great stuff at that boutique as well. So that's it for today. It was just a, a just a tack haul, like a fall tack haul. And um, I hope that you guys enjoy um, what I have here as products and that you, they're, they're something that really interests you. If they are, just give me a good thumbs up. And so like that, I know that you guys watched it and that you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.